Hello friends, uh, welcome to our channel where we are presenting uh, lessons in mathematics. Okay, so in this uh, lesson, uh, we want to deal with the introductory part uh, of trigonometry. Okay, so we want to just deal with the basics okay? uh, of trigonometry. Okay, so I must uh, mention that um, we have. Um, quite a number of presentations under this topic not less than uh, six okay so you need to ensure that uh, you follow all those presentations for you to have a full understanding of the topic okay now let's try to understand what you mean by trigonometry i may not be able to put up the definition that i'll explain now when you talk about trigonometry we are saying um it's a, it is a, a branch of mathematics okay which mainly deals with the triangle measurement Okay, it meant deals with the triangle measurement. By triangle measurement, we mean under this we try to understand the sides, okay, of a triangle, okay, as well as the what? The angles. The angles of a triangle. So by trigonometry, you are trying to understand um, or deal with the triangle measurement. You are interested in dealing with angles and sides of um, uh, triangles. Okay? Now, again, remember trigonometry, basically we are dealing with the triangles, like I said. So we deal with the two types of triangles. Right angle triangles as well as non right angle D triangles. Okay? Right angle triangles and nine right angle D triangles. I hope that is fine. Now, there is something that I want us to learn uh, in this presentation. And that is uh, what we call trigonometric ratios. Okay? But now, before I go into the details of that, let me discuss with you this triangle that we have on the board. Now, we are saying, if I have a triangle ABC, as you can see, which is right angle, this means the right angle, it means it's 90 degrees, right? Now, if you have an angle here, theta, what do we mean, uh, or what does that imply? We have got these three sides. Now, these three sides, especially these two, are defined by the, the angle itself. Now, these sides, that is always opposed to 90 degrees, regardless of the position, it's referred to as the hypotenuse side. So if you have got something like this, let's take note. Alright? Here we are told that it is 90 degrees. This is x, y, and z, or z. x is the hypotenuse side. It does not change this one. Okay? So x is the hypotenuse side. So in this case, our hypotenuse side is what? BC. So BC is hypotenuse. Alright? Now, if I'm dealing with this angle theta, okay? Then there is a side here, AC, which is opposite to theta. Okay? And the this side that is opposite to theta is called the opposite side to this theta. Alright? So we have a, a, a hypotenuse side, opposite side, then the side that is here closer to this one, closer to the angle is an adjacent side. Are we okay? So, if your angle is here, alright, then this is the opposite. Okay? And this is the adjacent. Meaning that if you have your angle here as in theta, right? What is our opposite side? It simply means um, z is the opposite to an um, uh, uh, opposite. The opposite to, to theta, alright? And y, y is the adjacent adjacent 
Okay, I hope that is very clear. I'm trying to ensure that the matter is uh, okay. All right. So if you have theta here, then z is the opposite. X remains as your hypotenuse. Then y is the uh, adjacent side. So just what uh, determines these uh, two sides? It is the theta here. All right. It is the theta now. These three sides help us now to define three trigonometric ratios. Okay, three uh, three trigonometric ratios. Okay, so the three important trig ratios or trigonometric ratios that we deal with at this level um, are as follows: one. Okay, we deal with the the sign, all right, ratio, then number two, we deal with the cosine, all right, ratio, then the third one, number three, one, two, three, uh, that is the cosine, uh, tangent, or whatever it is, the cosine, maybe let me write it here, yeah, we'll go. One, two, three. You have the tangent. Okay. So these are the three ratios that we have. You have the sine ratio, the cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. Again, I must be willing to mention that these three ratios are defined by the right angle triangle, all right? So these three ratios are defined by the right angle triangle. Okay, so we get these three ratios from a right angle D triangle. Take note, all right? We use the right angle, a right angle triangle to define these things. Okay, all right? Now, when you look at the sign, what is the ratio for a sign, or what is the sign ratio? So sign. Alright, abbreviated by this. OB, defined again by looking at the angle. So if my angle is theta, so I'll say sine theta, alright, is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, can you even write it for hypotenuse sides? All right. Opposite over hypotenuse sides. Okay. So we are saying sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Meaning that if I'm dealing with this. So I'll say sine theta is equal to what is the opposite side? The opposite side is the side AC. So AC divided by what is my hypotenuse? My hypotenuse will be B. Alright? So that is how you are going to define this uh, sine theta. If you are dealing with cos or cosine, Right, we just say cos is equal to um, adjacent side. You divide everything by the uh, hypotenuse. Right, the hypotenuse side. Then, okay, if you are dealing with the this theta, so say cos theta is equal to what is our adjacent side? We are saying our adjacent side from what we said earlier on is AB. Divided by what is our hypotenuse? It's BC. Alright? Okay, then for the tangent.
We are going to say tan theta is defined by what is tangent? Opposite side divided by our adjacent side. Okay. Alright? This implies that we have said that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. That's what we've said. Again, with this, we have said that uh, cos theta is equal to what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Then, we have also said that tan theta is equal to what? Um, opposite uh, divided by adjacent. So, these are the three integrators defined on a right angle D triangle. Okay? So, you know that cos is opposite of hypotenuse. I mean, sine, opposite of hypotenuse. Cos adjacent of hypotenuse. Tan theta is opposite of one adjacent side. Okay? So, that's how you're going to define this thing. Now, in order for the people, sometimes, you know, it's a challenge to, to remember this or to recall. So, we use an aid to, to memory, okay? We use, uh, we use an aid to memory, right? Called the soccer tour. So that's what we are going to use. It's an A to memory. Called what? So Karatoa. Right? What does this so Karatoa imply? Implies that if you, are, if you are looking at this part, this one, I've got three. One, two, three. These represent the three triplets sine, cosine, and the tangent. So by S here we are saying sine. So we are going to say sine. Alright, theta is equal to what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Alright? And this one is cos. So I'm going to say cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And this one is tan. So say tan theta is opposite over adjacent. That's how we use this. Add to memory called Sokatoa. Okay. Add to memory called this so by this we imply this three, uh, three things. Is it okay? Alright? So again I must mention that sometimes this Sokatoa works well when you have a very good understanding of who by Sokatoa theorem. Okay? Actually so Pato and Katoga theorem went hand in hand. Okay. Alright? Okay, so these two concepts, that is the, the concept of Sokatoa and Katoga theorem, they both work uh, on a right angle triangle, but they are really uh, handy. Where in uh, this where Sokatoa may not help us, we can apply Pasoga theorem. Where Pythagoras theorem may not wait, we can apply Sokatoa. So I'm going to give up. An, uh, I'm going to give you an example which I'll explain. Then later on, I'll give you an exercise. Okay. So let me write an example on the board. Okay. So this is our example. We are saying find the sine, cosine, and tangent ratio of one wall BAC. BAC. All right. So in this case, our angle is here, right? Okay, so uh, So for A, for sine, so we'll say uh, Sine A, B, uh, 
Okay, it's supposed to be BAC or just A. The sign of B A C. Right? Which is the A here. B A C. So our reference is this one. Okay? So if this is our reference here, and you remember we are saying sign is the opposite of a hypotenuse. That's what that's what we said earlier on. Okay? So which is equal to what here? What is the opposite side? Uh, if you are dealing with this one, the opposite side is BC. BC divided by what is our hypotenuse AC? Okay. So we have both sign. After I can even just do that. BAC is equal to what is our BC? BC is the three centimeters. Right? Divided by AC is what? 5 centimeters. Okay. So this will be 3 over 5. As a ratio, this is okay. Even without units because they'll cancel. Right? This is a ratio. Hence, we will not have units. So, we are saying sine BAC. BAC. We are saying this is the opposite divided by hypotenuse. So that's why I'm going to get that one. Then we go to cos. So we say cos. The cos of the same angle, cos B A C. Alright, let me put this on top. What's an angle? Okay, yeah, is equal to what is cos? We say adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Alright, now we we'll say if our reference angle is A, what is our adjacent side? It is A B. Okay, so we are saying AB divided by uh, our hypotenuse is what? AC. Okay, this means that cos of BAC is equal to, we are saying our adjacent is A, which is 4 centimeters. Okay, so we have 4 centimeters. Divided by AC is 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters. I hope it's okay. And this will give us what? 4 over 5. Okay? That is how you are going to get the, the cosine ratio there. Okay? Then to get a tangent. So we are going to say tan uh, tan uh, BAC is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent. And if this is our reference angle, our opposite is e, 3, then our adjacent is 4. So, which is it? I can go straight now and say 3 centimeters. Okay, now we are able to pick that. Then that one is it, 4 centimeters. Okay? So, this implies that our tan BAC is equal to, you can cancel the units here, 3 divided by what? 4. So, in terms of trig ratios, that's how we are going to get them. Okay? So in the next lesson, we'll look at how to get the values. Okay, so with me here, uh, I'm going to give you an example. I'll just say, subject it to the camera.